Welcome to the recovery room. Now, if you have done an internet search for the recovery room, either on YouTube or Facebook, you have probably learned that there are lots and lots of bars named the recovery room. However, do not fear, you are in the right place. I am cancer physical therapy specialist, Dr. Leslie Walke, and you are in the real recovery room, a question and answer platform for cancer patients and survivors. And today we are talking alcohol. Pull up a bar stool and let's talk. Ethanol is the specific type of alcohol found in alcoholic beverages that is the culprit. Different kinds of alcohols contain different amounts of ethanol. But in general, 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of an 80 proof liqueur all contain about the same amount of ethanol. So it's not the kind of alcohol that matters, but the volume of ethanol you drink over time that appears to increase cancer risk. The more you drink, the higher your cancer risk. Ethanol is linked to causing cancers such as mouth cancer, throat or pharyngeal cancer, voice box or laryngeal cancer, esophageal cancer, liver cancer, colon cancer, rectal cancer, and breast cancer. Now, how ethanol increases cancer risk isn't completely known, but ethanol most likely impacts risk in different cancers in different ways. Alcohol use is strongly linked to head and neck cancers, especially when combined with smoking tobacco. It is believed alcohol can help chemicals in the tobacco negatively affect the cells in the mouth, throat, and esophagus. Alcohol may also impair the ability of the cells in these areas to repair DNA damage caused by the tobacco chemicals. Alcohol may also slow down the body's ability to eliminate harmful chemicals. Normal bacteria that live in the colon can combine with alcohol to create additional potentially cancer-causing chemicals. Alcohol can also cause damage and scarring in the liver that may then lead to DNA changes that then could lead to cancer. Alcohol can also inhibit the body's ability to absorb some nutrients like folate that can affect breast cancer and colon cancer risk. Alcohol is also known to increase estrogen levels in women, which therefore can then increase breast cancer risk. And also, alcoholic drinks can have a lot of calories that can lead to weight gain. And being overweight or obese is known to increase the risk of multiple kinds of cancers. So for those of you going through chemotherapy or radiation now, if and how much alcohol is safe for you to consume will depend on your gender, your body weight, the type of cancer, the type of specific treatment or drugs you are on, so you need to talk directly to your medical or radiation oncologist for that specific discussion. So now let's talk about alcohol and breast cancer recurrence risk. In 2016, multiple studies were analyzed to look at the effect of alcohol on the recurrence of breast cancer. Some studies did show no correlation, but when the study results were all combined together, there was a small connection between alcohol intake and the recurrence of a breast cancer. And that risk was among those who drank one unit of alcohol every day. This risk was increased even a bit more in postmenopausal women who were obese. Though there does appear to be some correlation between alcohol and increased risk of breast cancer recurrence, coming up with a clear recommendation on how much is okay to drink on this limited information is tough. However, because the correlation between alcohol and recurrence was not seen in women who drank alcohol less frequently than one drink every other day, some physicians say it may be okay and safe to have one drink every three days. Now this is new and evolving science. Your body, your health, and type of breast cancer will also play into the equation, so this is an absolutely critical discussion to have with your medical oncologist about your specific case and your specific risk. I'm Dr. Leslie Walke, and this is Charlie, signing out from the recovery room. Wait, 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 wait for the line. Lemon. Salud, salute, chin chin, uh, prost, lachaim. Talk with you soon.